Stasis just got nerfed. Let's talk about it. Ow, that was my hand. Hunters, Shatter Dive, Damage Resistance, it's gone. And there's now a four second cooldown on it. That is a global nerf that is not only for PvP. All of the nerfs happening here are with regards to PvP, unless stated otherwise, and they will be here on the 23rd of March. Withering Blade is getting slapped in PvP. Damage is going from 90 to 65, the slow stacks are going from 60 to 40, and the target acquisition range after it hits a player is now 8 meters down from 12 meters. Titans. The AoE freeze on casting Glacial Quake is gone in PvP. It is still there in PvE. Otherwise, I am led to believe by the wording that all of the Titan changes will be for both PvP and PvE. Damage resistance while in super, now down to 50%, used to be 60. The energy cost of Shiver Strike while in your super is now 7%, it used to be 3. Using a combo of Shiver Strike into a Heavy Slam attack now costs the full super energy of both attacks. It used to only cost the energy for the big slam attack. Also, Shiver Strike had its applied downward velocity increased to Shiver Striking players who are slowed to pull them out of the air more strongly. Warlocks. Not nerfs. Improved tracking of Winter's Wrath projectiles. Tracking strength now decays from its max value over 10 seconds instead of 2.2 seconds. The super projectile's detonation radius is now 1.65 meters instead of 1.5. And the proximity detonation now starts at its largest and scales down to 40% over time. I lied, there is a nerf. Penumbral Blast. PvP damage is going to 30 down from 80 PvE unchanged. Ice Flare Bolts fixed a bug where bolts would continuously try to switch targets. Target acquisition range increased by 33%, and turning speed of bolts were increased to more effectively hit nearby targets. Dusk Field Grenades getting slapped in PvP. Reduced pull range from 9.5 to around 6 meters. Reduced slow stacks applied to players on detonation from 20 to 10 stacks. Reduced slow stacks from each tick of the grenade from 10 to 5, and they adjusted the UI so that the slow effect can now be read out of 100 instead of 10 to increase readability when you have less than 10 stacks of slow on you. Stasis Crystals. Reduced crystal shatter damage against players from 85 max 55 min to now 55 max 25 min. Whisper of Chains. Reduced damage resistance bonus while in super from 25% to now 5%. Resistance not in super is unchanged and only affects damage from other guardians. Whisper of Torment fixed a bug where players can continuously proc Whisper of Torment while standing inside of an opponent's barricade. And as for the fragment quests, significantly reduced objective completion value for all Crucible fragment quests. Finally, a non-stasis nerf. Take a guess. It's Chaos Reach. Bet you've been seeing that a whole lot lately. Decreased the amount of super energy refunded when canceling Chaos Reach early, likely to cut down on Warlocks being able to cast it many times per Crucible match. Thoughts? Datto. Here's how my last game of PvP ended a mere two days ago. Another Chaos Reach. Enemy has zone Third Chaos Reach of the game. We're three minutes in. You guys got power ammo. And here comes the super. They have another chaos reach. There it is. Another super. Another fuck. We're playing Tetris. Yeah. So, why don't you guys tell me how you think I'm feeling about these nerfs? I'm still coming to terms with the fact that Stasis is going to be in the game forever. 
but these nerfs make me a little more hopeful for a day where I don't have to roll my eyes into the back of my head every single time I'm killed or even affected by stasis. First off, glad to see a lot of against guardians only or unchanged in PvE. Let's be clear, stasis does not really need to be touched in PvE. Maybe there's some fringe cases here and there that could get tweaked. I'm not saying it's perfect, but in PvE, it doesn't really need to be touched. So thank you for not nerfing it into the ground in PvE. Withering Blade, I think, was one of the worst offenders of the stasis world, being used as a finisher from across the map, bouncing off of walls, and just deciding to hit me. Now, if I'm hit by it head-on, someone flicks it directly my at my face, off. there's clear line of sight, fine, I'm dead. But it's the random ricochet, half my health bar can barely move for five seconds across the map, crap, that I'm really over. I'm just over it. I, I'm so over it. Nerfing the damage, nerfing the slow, all good in my eyes. No more instant freezing either from a double tap of them. Good. I don't even care if this is just on a personal level, just throwing balance out the window. I literally don't care at this point. It is that obnoxious to fight against and to play against. And I often think back fondly on a world where we never had it in the first place in PvP. I don't know if all of the nerfs will ever be enough, but it's something. Shatter Dive, getting its damage reduction removed. As far as I'm concerned, if you were in the middle of Shatter Diving someone, you were either in the process of killing someone while they have no chance of fighting back, or you were whiffing super, super hard, and you'll be dying immediately after you land. So I'm kind of indifferent there, but I'll take it. A four second cooldown on Shatter Dive doesn't seem like the worst thing, but as someone who doesn't really play much Hunter Stasis PvP, I imagine whiffing a dive might suck a bit more now. I don't think there was a way for Bungie to make it no cooldown in PvE, but also have a cooldown in PvP, but I don't really know anyone spamming Shatter Dive multiple times in four seconds in PvE, so I don't think it's going to be very noticeable there. And with Stasis Crystals getting nerfed as well, hopefully we'll be seeing a bit less of this. I'm also just really tired of being one-shot in my super by Stasis Crystal Explosions, regardless of who they're from. Hunters, Titan, I don't care. I'm tired. I'm tired of it. Glacial Quake nerfs. Love them. I'm fine with the functionality, Titans flying all over the map and stuff. But to make it last as long as it did, and to have them be... Very hard to kill. Not fun. Very not fun. I've died multiple times to the same Glacial Quake Super. Nothing remotely fun about it. Bring it down. I don't really see much Warlock Stasis, so I don't mind seeing the buffs to their Super. I've accepted the fact that I'm probably going to die against someone in a Super almost no matter what. So getting frozen against someone in a Super, what are you going to do? You know? I imagine the reason for the damage nerf on Penumbral Blast is to sort of match what is happening to Hunter's Withering Blade, but if you hit someone with Penumbral Blast, you're still probably going to kill them anyway because they'll be frozen, so why nerf the damage if they're almost guaranteed to die anyway? Not sure, wouldn't mind. Uh, a bit more explanation on that one. Dust Field Grenades. Ah, oh, thank you. I'm not sure... If it'll be enough to get me from being mad whenever I'm hit by one. But at least you have a much better chance of not getting frozen by escaping out of it. And you won't be yeeted as far out into the middle of a lane from the not back effect. Good. I do wonder if the meta shifts here to cold snap though. And if it does, what the repercussions of that will be. With some of those freeze effects getting nerfed to not be as long of a freeze... Maybe it won't be that bad, or maybe I'm just being a bit too optimistic. Overall, I'm still worried about the slow effect of stasis continuing to be very oppressive on gameplay, as it still pretty much feels like a death sentence a lot of the time. It is something that I do want to keep track of. The Chaos Reach nerf. Chaos Reach. It's everywhere, huh? It has grown rapidly. Rapid growth. I think people are more annoyed at the fact that you get to keep energy if you die mid-super or are suppressed out of it. I know the wording on it says that you get energy back anyway. I'm just trying to push that feedback out there. 
yeah, this wasn't really that much fun to engage against either, speaking as a Titan. Uh, hopefully, you kind of get what I mean by that clip that I showed. Made competitive and trials, uh, you know, pretty interesting, I suppose is a generous word. However, just because something that was good went under the radar for a while and is now popular doesn't mean it is immune to balance patches, in my opinion. Sure, it wasn't a problem while it was more low-key, but that's because the use rate wasn't really enough to affect the game. Now, every single Crucible match has this, and it's getting to be oppressive, so something is being done about it. Stasis, man. Stasis. It's literally in the game. I'm looking forward to some of these changes. You know, I've been doing a bit more PvP in the past couple of weeks, but for me personally, I don't know if this is ever going to be enough. You know? I don't know if it'll ever be enough. Some other notes before we go. This was a TWAB video in case you uh, didn't realize. Arbalest aim assist has been reduced. Congrats to console players on that one. Dune Marchers appear to be getting fixed to work properly again. That's some good news, although Dune Marchers are still really good. Team Dino won over Team Monsters by a huge margin, 81 to 19%. Reset is moving to 10 a.m. Pacific, thanks to Daylight Savings on March 14th. Don't forget about that. We're losing an hour. Spring forward. And Trials will be back on March 12th. That's tomorrow if you're watching this on the 11th. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.